So, what is a derivative anyway? Derivatives are functions that describe how quickly other functions change. If a function around some value of x moves up in value quickly as the values of x grow, then it could be said that the derivative of this function is large and positive around those values of x. If a function stays about the same as x grows around some neighborhood of x values, then it could be said that the derivative of this function stays close to zero around those values of x. If for some neighborhood of x values the function decreases in value as x grows, then the derivative of such a function is negative in that neighborhood of x values. You might be concerned that in a neighborhood of x the function doesn't just go up or down, but it has hills and valleys of all sorts. To keep things simple, we will only consider functions such that if we choose a narrow enough neighborhood of x, then the values of the function only go up or down. The neighborhood that we will consider will be so very tiny that within the function itself it will lose almost all of its curviness and become almost completely a straight line. If we take a look at the neighborhood of the function f of x at some value x, the size of the neighborhood will be delta x in width. You may notice that as long as we keep our distances very small, it is true that if you increase the size of delta x, the size of delta f of x also increases proportionally. For this reason, we can't simply talk about the size of delta f of x, but we must consider the proportion of the size of delta f of x to the size of delta x. This is another way of saying that we are interested in the ratio delta f of x over delta x, which is also called the rate of change. We could consider all kinds of other relationships between these two values, such as delta x over delta f of x, or arctan delta f of x over delta x, or some other relationship, but the most useful measure of the slope in the later applications of calculus happens to be delta f of x over delta x. If we make the two numbers infinitesimally small, then all that we are left with is the exact rate of change at that particular position, which is going to be called the derivative, and the function that provides the value of the derivative at the position of x is written f prime of x. How do we know that the ratio doesn't just disappear and become zero or infinity as the delta x and delta f of x are shrunk? This has to do with something called limits that are more formal calculus book covers in greater detail, but for us it is sufficient to imagine that the two sides of a triangle describing the rate of change have the same proportions to each other regardless of how small the triangle itself becomes. Therefore, if f of x has a derivative, then f prime of x is equal to delta f of x over delta x, where delta f of x and delta x are infinitesimally small at each particular value of x.